Hello again. Welcome back to Through Geordie Lens. And today we're in Wall's End at Segedunum to continue part two of exploring Hirian's Wall forts and temples. So I'm going to show you around. So let's begin. Today we are standing at the easternmost point of Hadrian's Wall at the remains of the Segedunum Fort. It was built in 127 AD, five years after the main construction of the wall started. The original eastern terminus was supposed to be four miles west of here at Pont Elias, or where Newcastle Castle is today. There's not much that remains of the fort, as a large Victorian estate of terrace houses was built directly on top of the site in 1884 and stood until it was knocked down in the 1970s. Segedunum and the museum and tower were opened in the late 1990s. Segedunum which means strong fort, housed at least 600 soldiers. 160 of them were cavalry, and the rest were made up of infantry. As you can see, this section here comes down from the southeast corner of the fort. It's called the branch end or the branch wall and goes down to the river and this section there wasn't found till 1901 when they extended the shipyards as you can see in the background there to build the RMS Marantia when it was moved this section was moved to Walls End Park and it was only returned to Segedunum in 1991 see where they've gone across the path there that's the direction the wall went in this building is a reconstruction of the Roman baths it's not open at the moment because the roof looks a bit damaged and just to the southwest of the fort you'll find the baths which looks an unusual design the rest of the Roman Empire. It's probably mainly for the centurions and the leaders, not so much for the cavalry or infantry. And this was excavated in 2015. And consisted of a couple of warm rooms, a couple of cold rooms, and a hot room and hot bath. As you can see from where the pebbles are and the curb stones is just showing you where the floors would be separate the rooms and you see this end here down here would be the warm room and that up the top end at the back where that curve is would be where the cold room is and the hot rooms would have been at this section. This is a sculpture, steel sculpture, by John O'Rourke of Centus 
tectonicus and it's eight and a half foot in height and stands on a plinth just outside of the museum. And as you can see, museum and viewing platform is under some renovation. As you can see, this is also part of the fort in the year 187, actually built through the fort. The yellow bricks mark out the walls of the fort roughly where they would be. Well, this is a added section. What was over there comes right across here and at least up to them houses. And this side of the fort's probably been bigger as a wall went around come over. This part of the Roman wall is also one of the earliest deep coal mines. There was Walls End Colliery, which was opened in 1780. The shop is covered with a concrete cup, which is just up there. Well, as you can see, we long uh, 1780 to 1849. Supported many of the moving parts for drawing the coal and pump the water out of the pit. Round brick wall, wall housed clear stack boilers, large spherical iron boilers used to produce steam that powered the engines. The brick flues, the 30 centimeters wide, surrounding the boilers, where wheel drafts which help raise the temperature of the water inside the boiler evenly. The closure of the colony in 1847 B pit continued to use as an air shaft the big ventilation duct on either side of the shaft for the boilers dates to around 1908 when the rise in some colony was in. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little walk around Segadunum. I tell you what, you get a canny view up, up the Tain there from here, so it's probably one of the reasons why the Romans built it at this point. And you can see both east and west up and down the Tain. Anyway, we'll hopefully see you in part three of this video. series. If you like this content of this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, it would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching.